So I was uh, watching this um, video by Paul Bradshaw over at Online Journalism uh, talking about Seismic, uh, which if you don't know what it is, is a sort of a video blogging, twittering kind of tool, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, one of the things that uh, he said that I thought was really interesting was this idea of how something like Seismic makes uh, video disposable. And I suppose this kind of is disposable video too. I mean, who it's uh, you know quickly made and uh, quickly dispensed with, and that's a, a relatively new kind of concept, right? Because uh, video for a long time has been uh, expensive to make and uh, information intensive in terms of storage and processing and all these kinds of things. And here I am, uh, you know, making videos online. Right? And so now this has become uh, incredibly easy. And uh, when he said that, it made me also think about the uh, Horizons report, which is uh, you know, a report put together by Educause and the New Media Consortium that are uh, two uh, groups, non uh, nonprofit organizations of um, uh, universities and, and other educational technology kinds of uh, companies. And the Horizons report is this kind of looking at technologies that are on the horizon and um, in their 2008 report the uh, number one technology on the closest to us is the uh, is grassroots video and obviously grassroots video is out all over the place but but uh, their point is that it's coming to uh, the educational world and so educators need to uh, get ready for it so here you know here are these two uh, Two similar kinds of perspectives: the idea of uh, you know, grassroots, quick and dirty um, video production, and disposable video. Right, the idea that you can just here I am, you know, get on the web, click on your uh, quick capture, get in front of your webcam, and, and start jabbering about uh, whatever you want. And uh, I was reading on Mashable the other day; they were talking about Seismic, and uh, you know, talking about questioning whether or not. Um, Video commenting would become that popular. Um, that you know, sort of speculating that it would be very popular with a sort of YouTube live journal kind of crowd, where it's more about expression and, and uh, you know connection and community and friendship and things like that, uh, rather than you know with more corporate types of communication or more professional blogs or or maybe even like news media and things like that that use these kinds of commenting features. Uh, that those kinds of more quote unquote serious places wouldn't uh, uh, make use so much of video that people wouldn't want to um, wouldn't want to communicate that way wouldn't want to be seen that way and uh, prefer the text and that also text is uh, quicker to parse and so you can you know find the information you want and uh, you don't want to spend your time watching a video to find out what's in it and those are all good points but I think that there's also something to be said about uh, the disposable nature of video uh, as we now experience it and uh, as we increasingly come to see video as something that hey we can just do um, and throw up there and uh, not really think about then uh, it becomes increasingly more like Twitter it becomes more like blogging and uh, we'll start to see something really different I think different kinds of video video for different purposes and it won't exactly be like a Twitter or, or a blog comment that's text. It'll be something, you know, definitely something different from that, but uh, also different from what video has been before. So uh, I have found that just in the couple of weeks that I have started using Seismic, that all of a sudden I feel so much uh, more comfortable uh, with just getting online and, and doing this uh, than I did before. The first time I tried to uh, make a post, on seismic, uh, you know, there was a fair amount of anxiety, and now I get on, you know, first thing in the morning, and uh, you know, I'm obviously not caring about the way I look. Um, so, you know, so I'm definitely looking at it in a different way. So um, I'll be interested to see if others, you know, follow in, in that in uh, the footsteps of all these other people doing seismic.